Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at this camera cage by Saray. This is for the FX30 but it also fits the FX3. So without further ado let's go ahead and unbox this thing and put it on the camera to see how it looks. <laughs> All right guys, so the camera cage is on the FX30. It's a pretty nice camera cage. One of the things that I really like about this camera cage uh, is the fact that it comes with this extra grip. It feels like this extra grip adds a lot of security as far as holding this when you're running and gunning uh, for a lot of the shoots I do. Uh, not to mention it also comes with this NATO rail that you can see on top. Uh, as you'll see, a lot of people actually use NATO rails on a lot of the different rigs, like small rigs setup that I have for my uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. And this allows you to quickly release um, and install a handle in a couple turns. Uh, another good thing about that is instead of using the microphone handle that comes with the uh, FX30, uh, such as the XLR handle, um, you can use this handle instead and use an external recording source. Or if you like to, you can take it off and go to that, that external handle as well. Um, it does have a couple mounting points, which is really nice. It has one here, has one here, and has one here. Or here, I should say. And that's just really beneficial because uh, I've had a couple camera cages, especially for my um, mirrorless cameras, like the Sony a6300. Uh, even my Blackmagic Pocket 4K only has two mounting points. Three mounting points means that whenever your camera is in this cage, if there's any movement from left to right, such as when you're taking on or panning left or right with your camera on the tripod, uh, it can sometimes loosen those top and bottom bolts, or if you have just one bottom bolt. And then you have to take everything apart in order for you to be able to tighten that back up. Uh, having those three mounting points makes it so it's less chance of that happening. Uh, it actually has this cool uh, Manfrotto plate at the bottom, uh, which is almost like a half plate. On the Pocket 4K, I have the full plate size, and I can, as you can see, it's fairly small in comparison, and that just allows you to be able to mount it into a lot of the tripods that you have available, um, but without this huge plate that kind of takes up a lot of real estate on the bottom. Another great thing about it is it actually has this little mounting point for your HDMI. It secures the HDMI in place, uh, especially because this camera, a lot of people are doing external recording with the Ninjas, uh, so you'll have that there. Um, then you have your audio outs. Everything is pretty much open so it's not blocked. I really like how they think forward and make sure that whenever they're adding functions and locations of things, they're kind of moving around those places so it's not blocking things. Uh, another cool feature that is actually really cool um, that I found was you have this little magnetic um, screwdriver or flathead screw driver uh, that you can use to tighten and loosen these pieces on here, which is really useful. I've had a lot of times where I just gotta tighten something really quick on the fly for a cold shoe mount or or even like this top mount here. You can take it off quickly uh, without having to go look through your bag of tools for a screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver. So really nice they did that. Uh, and then you also have just like this ability to, if you wanted to do like a half cage, you can take off um, this portion of the cage, right? So you can take off the part where the handle is here and that allows you to kind of slim down your cage a little bit and you have the protection on the left side, but then also you can use the camera's body itself instead of having to use this guy here. Now the FX30's case is actually really sturdy already. It's solid aluminum, really, really comfortable. Uh, I just like that extra protection and the ability to be able to mount more things onto this uh, camera. Uh, I would recommend if you're going to be using this, then you're probably gonna be rigging it out with monitors and things of that sort and tripoding it. Uh, a lot of people, and one thing I'll probably do is once I start using more of a gimbal setup, I'll probably have to lighten this thing down so I don't have to use counterweights, uh, but that's just a whole other thing. 
Uh, overall, yeah, Saray, really good job on this. Uh, one of the biggest reasons that I picked up this camera cage is I just really like the quality of their cinema lenses and a lot of the things they do with the camera stuff. And uh, I thought this was a good try. It was actually one of the cheapest cages on Amazon and not I'm not disappointed at all. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you want to see any more videos about this camera cage or anything interesting about it, feel free to let me know. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.